Hey guys, what's up? WWE One Superstar back again. And today I'm going to do a little quick scoping tutorial ish thing. But first, I'm going to show you guys a montage, a 30 second or so montage about what you can do with some practice and following these tips. So here you go, it's really cheesy and bad quality. Alright guys, I think you enjoyed that terrible montage. It just kinda shows it shows it though. I um, wanna give you some tips and I also apologize for bad audio quality because I still need to get that thing fixed or get a PC soon, which I am getting a computer soon. I have all the parts written down and every time I try to get it, it just goes wrong. But let's jump in right into the tips. Well, first is most people think quick scoping is something like that, which isn't the case. If you come up closer and you aim directly at this and you just go, you're not going to hit your target. As you see, there's no mark on here. But if you aim it back at the target, you do that is a quick scope. It, the target's hit right there. It's hold down sight, hold breath, fire in a split in a second. Like, you have to hold down your breath, otherwise it will not have the same effect. And well, you're basically going to, you're going to miss your target. You got to go quick scope. And it also, it's maybe some people consider it hard scoping. Some people can still consider it quick scoping. If you're a really far distance, say that orange thing, the person you're like looking over here. Some people still consider that quick scoping. It is a little bit harder. I consider it quick scope. I mean, it's a little bit longer of a scope, pull down. I still consider it quick scoping, but some of you might not. So you can do that at long range. But I mean, really all you want to do is get used to holding down breath aiming down, holding down breath and firing at the same time. And like only having a half a second at tops for beginners inside the scope. And this will take a lot of practice. Do a private match with your friends or do a game against bots on like recruit or something, get used to this. Basic, but what you want to do, you're not going to be able to try to hit something really far away. You're going to need to get closer or hard scope them because it's it's going to be really hard. You're going to need some practice before then. And if you want a class, this is the class I use. The quick draw or whatever you call it, it makes the sniper ready quicker after sprinting. The steady aim makes it so that if I don't aim down my scope all the way, it'll make it more accurate. And the, whatever that perk's called, it makes me aim faster, and the next perk makes me reduce flinch when hitting and steadier scope, so I'm more accurate if being shot at. The kill streaks don't matter. A throwing knife would be nice if you're at close range. Just kind of good trick shot thing with a throwing knife. Concussion to stun them or something to stun them in case you need some time. Uh, the secondary is really just a backup, so I use the PDW, and I use the US USR. Then I use FMJ, and I'm also trying to get the ghillie suit, so I'm using Chrome Barrel, which gives you more damage, but it also reduces accuracy, so if you're going for the longer quick scopes, do not use the Chrome Barrel. Just skip that part. So, after you have your class set up, which you should do, really this is mostly practice. What you're going to want to do is that, well, first they remove the crosshairs on snipers, so they try to make it harder, which it doesn't really matter. You're going to try to get... The, your target in the middle of the screen says the blue knob over there so that you can aim down. Like, aim down at something and just look at the middle of the screen. That's where you want to put the people. And while, and then while you're in this, in this, you have a split second to aim at them. So you have to get the general vicinity of the per, of the middle of the screen so that you can aim at them in a split second. If I was aiming over here and I had to hit the blue cap, the blue cap's obviously smaller, but I would do that and I would hit pretty freaking close. I just hit right there out of two shots and I think the other one hit somewhere down here which would still be a kill and really once you practice, it's really mostly practice. It took me four hours to do as mediocre as I am just practicing 
But it's really just practice. And after a while, you get used to it. And just aim down your scope quicker. You need to know the speed of the scope so you can fire as quick as possible. You gotta make sure you're hitting them. If you miss them, then if you miss one bullet and, and if they see you, then you're screwed. So make sure you're hitting them. You have to aim it right. And most people, what they do if someone's running, they'll be like, and keep trying to go with them. What you don't want to do is you want to get in front of them and slightly move. Like you're not gonna go. And I'm almost out of ammo and for some reason I decided to put the running out on. But after you do that, it's really, you have to learn how to shoot people moving. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try to shoot this cat moving. <laughs> it's going to be pretty hard, but, but yeah, I hit right here. There's, uh, yeah, I think it's a bullet hole. That would be a miss, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I, that would be a miss, but it takes a lot of practice, and it, some of it's luck. I mean, if you're going far and they're moving, it's going to be luck. But practice a lot, use these few tips, make a good class with the tips I gave you. And really, after that, all you're really going to have to do is just a ton of practice. It's going to take a lot of practice. Like I said, practice makes perfect. It's going to take practice to get to learn the middle of your screen. It's going to take practice to learn how to aim as quickly, fine aiming as quickly in the scope as possible. It's going to take practice to shoot someone when moving. So really, use the tips I gave you for that, and once you have that, then it'll be okay, and you have enough practice, and you'll be quick scoping like a pro or like me, <laughs> which is not a pro, but with more practice, you'll be able to do it. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> so you guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome PS4 and PC content.